Welcome back to Robert Lowe, where I show you the ins and outs of graphic designers that pertains to t-shirts, logos, and GIF animations. And today we turn to another popular song for motivation. Now, you probably heard this song in your car and you declared it as an oldie, but it's actually a recent hit that tells you to keep your eyes open because things aren't always what it seems. And after listening to this song, I wanted to create a back badge that kind of illustrated that you need to keep your eyes open while you're doing some activities with other people. As a matter of fact, there's a saying that says, smoke with a fool, but don't be fooled into smoking. And that's what I kind of wanted to grasp onto. So you guys, if you like this one, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my community, then go ahead and subscribe. I do this all the time. And if you have any idea or anything that you kind of want to see me draw out for T-Shirt Tuesday, then let me know in the comment section below. I'll definitely hook it up for you. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and make magic. <laughs> Okay, we're back in Illustrator. Now that we're in Illustrator, there's a lot of things that we need to do. But the first thing that we need to do is draw out this hand. Now, the good thing about this is that I've already put this on paper and I know what I'm doing. So I have this already laid out and I encourage everybody who's doing things on paper to just continue doing it on paper. If you're not doing it on paper, you definitely want to start doing it on paper because this gives you the freedom to mess up. As you can see, I messed up down here at the bottom. I messed up all over the place actually. But the main thing here is I can get this element out so I can get this hand out and that would be a whole lot harder to do if I didn't have this sketch already made. So. Now that we're in here, all I can do is just trace it out and then move forward. And that's what I encourage everybody to do. If you're doing this on Photoshop, do the exact same thing. You can draw over it in Photoshop if you have those tools. This is a good thing for you to do. So now that I have this and I have this layer locked down, I'm on layer two. I'm just going to go ahead with my pencil and my iPad and just kind of draw over this. And okay you guys this looks pretty good now i know all of this stuff here is a little off to the left and it's kind of heavy it's all hanging off over here so what i'm gonna try to do is pretty much make all of my elements centered balance so what i need to do is just open up a ruler's layer and just kind of slide some guides in here so i just stay centered within whatever i need to do now as you can see some of this stuff is hanging off the side over here and over here as well so what i need to do is just click on those and kind of bring those back in we don't want anything hanging off or anything protruding this design Now that looks stable and balanced. Now I can turn this back on and I can finish drawing out some of these background elements. Like I have birds over here and I have this quarter moon in the background and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish knocking these out real quick. Now that looks pretty good and I, I really like how this is turning out. I am just gonna turn this guide back on one more time. I'm gonna use the little drawn out font that I have, except I'm gonna make sure that it's balanced and even on both sides. So with the brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and start tracing over these as well. So now that I have this, what I'm gonna do is highlight them and just kind of move them over some. So I just wanna put them in a spot that looks pretty good. And now I wanna mess with this font down here real quick. So I'm just gonna bring up another layer and with my brush, just trace over it. Now a problem that we will run into with drawing things on Illustrator is that we create extra points. So you see like right here on this line where it should be a straight but it's actually curling off over here. That's an extra point. Also over here with this line right here it's creating an extra point and that's just the way our human hand works. So what we need to do is go in and kind of knock these points out. Now what I do is I just zoom all the way in with my direct selection tool and just click on those anchors and delete those out. In my opinion this gives you a straighter line. Now just like the font that I had up here, 
I need to go ahead and put this in where it's symmetrically working together. So, so what I'm gonna do now is just kind of select these and just arrange them correctly. Now you guys, this looks pretty good, except there's a few things I need to clean up. So what I'm gonna do is unlock all of these layers, zoom in with my direct selection tool, and click on some of these lines. So maybe this line right here, which is kind of protruding this hand, I'm just gonna go ahead with the eraser tool and just delete out some of these points. We also have some kind of inconsistencies going on with some of my sketching. So where I filled it in with the actual brush, I probably needed to just use the actual pen tool to do this. So I'm just going to click inside and just kind of get out some of these inconsistent lines. And you guys, this is actually looking really cool. So what I'm going to do now is just turn back on that guide layer and then scroll in real quick. Now at the top, I want to make this red bone with the borders. So I'm going to pick the pen tool and I'm going to change the fill to stroke real quick. And I'm just going to go ahead and click and just pretty much make a squiggle. Now this doesn't have to be on beat with the actual squiggle that I have, but that looks good right there. Now with this original squiggle, what I'm going to do is just hold Alt and Shift and then click and just kind of drag this out. Now with this one, I just want to go to Object, Transform, Reflect, and do a vertical reflect and hit OK. Now we would draw out red bone like I did on the paper, but I'm just going to go ahead and type this out. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to type out red bone. I'm going to use Feature of Medium and just kind of scale this back in. I think this looks good right about here. And that looks good to me. I think this is an actual good design. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and put all of this in one layer. And then I'm going to start the other side. Now, once again, we kind of want to start with some brush strokes. So instead of me actually bringing in the actual design for this side, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and draw it out. So it's really simple. I just made an S like this and then I made a W. So this is really easy. So just kind of one like this and then kind of went under here like this. Now what I want to do is go in and kind of fix these lines. So this right here can go right there. And this one right here can meet this one right here. Now I want to take both of these, go to object path and outline the strokes. Now, like I've been saying, this pretty much just turns all those strokes into outlines, which means now I can scale them up and it retains its weight. But in this instance, I kind of want to scale them down so I can get it into a square. Now there's something kind of crazy going on with this S and I made sure I did this so I can show you guys what to do. Now, right here, as you can see, there's an extra point right here. And that's because when I turned this into an outline, I didn't really examine this correctly. Now, if you fall into this accident, all you need to do is just select this entire thing out, go to your pathfinder and hit merge. Then you can zoom in and then with the pen tool, just draw across this line. Now with your selection tool, just select both of these out and then go into the shape builder tool and use the shape builder tool, holding down alter option to delete that out. Now, of course, it's not as fluent because, you know, you did mess up, but it's OK because this is hand drawn. So nobody really expects your hand drawn to be really fluent. But that is just your design call. So if that's what you like, then go ahead and do it. If you really want to fix it up, command Z back to that point where you didn't do it. All right. Now, this next step here is just to define a box. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw out some rulers real quick. One right here, one right here. And that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and lock down that layer. And end up under this, I'm just going to go ahead and draw out a circle. And on this circle, I just want to type on the path. So I'm just going to click here. Now, if you guys already know the reference here, then you'll understand why I'm typing out, they be creeping. And that looks really good right there. So what I want to do is just kind of bring this down just a little bit more. And just kind of turn this just a little bit so it's pretty much balanced on both sides. And then kind of bring this over to the left just a little bit. Right there. <laughs> And just like that, we created two designs that are appropriate to the message of the song. Now, there's a lot to be said about the messaging of this song, but what I like to connect to this song is when I started YouTube, a family member actually came up to me and told me that I would never pass 50 subscribers. A few months later, the ACA community grew to 500 plus. And when I hear this song and I actually think about that time, it just brings me back to a point that says, people want to destroy your ambitions and your success. And in this case, you can't be blindly led by a guy who's trying to catch you sleeping. And that's it. So when I wanted to translate this song into a t-shirt, that's just what I came off of. So if you guys like this one, give me a thumbs up. 
And if you're new to my channel, then I invite you to check out the rest of my channel. Go ahead and subscribe on your own leisure. But just know, I always put out some type of value every week. And if you guys have any t-shirt ideas that you would like to see me illustrate on T-Shirt Tuesday, then let me know in the comment section below. I will check it out. If it's creative, it'll definitely be featured in the next video. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and close this one out. So stay amazing, stay creative, but above all else, stay awesome. Thank you.